20 plus uh, internships from various startups, well, high paying internships. So in 2023, how do I learn front end web development? Is this enough? Like in today's world where, you know, companies are looking for React. You can start your open source journey. How do I get an internship or how do I get a job? By Combinator. This is one of the best websites to find a remote job. How to clear that interview? So hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have with us Vishal. Vishal, who is a, who has graduated from NSIT and he is a front-end developer and he has three years of experience in front-end development, web development, and he has uh, scored 20 plus uh, internships from various startups, remote internships, well, high paying internships. And also he has uh, recently started mentoring students and his uh, front-end community is doing very well. He has already mentored 3,000 students and also some of them have got a great job. Apart from that, he is a YouTuber with 4,000 subscribers and his YouTube channel is pretty great. So do check that out. Today, we are going to discuss everything about front-end development, you know, how to get started, how to get a job, everything right from the start to the end. So hi, Vishal. Welcome to the channel. Um, hello, Vishal. Uh, would love to uh, guide the student regarding a front-end development how, and how they can uh, do great things in front-end development. Yeah, and congratulations for your community. That is 3,000 plus students and that is also free. So that is the biggest thing that, you know, it is for free and you're guiding so many students. So really inspired by you. So coming to the first question. So Vishal, how did you start front end web development? Like what was your journey? Did you start in first year? How did it go? Um, so basically I start uh, front end development in August, 2020. Um, once I complete the DSA for the six month, I start DSA in Jan 2020 to August 2020, once I cover everything in DSA, and then I jump to the front end development. So I was a part of a girl, uh, girl coded society, which is run by like Manvidi and Vishali Ji. So uh, they uh, used to give us the YouTube video for the um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And once I watch the HTML video, then I have to build something out of this video. Let's say I watch the video on table, then I have to build something on table, something on list. So generally what I do, once I watch the video, I build something out. So the main theme is learn by building projects. Then um, after building small projects, basic almost 20 basic projects, what I do, I start doing open source contribution. Um, there was a program uh, known as NJAC Winter of Four, which is organized by IIT Patna. Um, so uh, it was my first open source project uh, program. I participated in them. I raised, I, I guess, more than 52 PR um, that time. And I got like rank one all over the India uh, in 2020 itself uh, in my first open source program. Um, then I participated in many other open source programs as well, working on their website and worked on many uh, websites. And I guess I have worked for 20 organizations and many of them were part of a Google Summer of Code as well. And then I, rather than going for Google Summer Report, I go for an um, internship. So I have worked for a six startups as of now. I have worked for a Gulfstream Summer Report um, as a full stack developer. Then I have worked for a career leap uh, of Scale India. Then I have worked for this. Recently, I worked for a Kessel Data, Ugum, and EasyBay. So these are the startups that I have worked for. And yeah, great to hear that Vishal in a span of almost two, three years, you have, you know, you started web front end and from there you have actually done so many open source contributions, but that is great to hear. But if I am a fresher and I don't know anything about front end web development. So in 2023, how do I learn front end web development? What is the best approach according to you? Okay. So, um, currently I, I am, uh, I'm doing three mentors with where I'm teaching everything from scratch. So if you want to learn front-end development, the best way is to learn by doing. So currently I have like best one of front-end developer mentorship where I teach HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Git and GitHub. So these are the foundation of front-end development. You can't start by learning React here or some other framework. First of all, you have to ma master this basic thing. So, and how to master, not like you watch a one hour tutorial on HTML and you are done. No, you don't know about HTML. Okay, you have to uh, build uh, projects on let's say HTML, some um, structure of any portfolio website. 
or some list, some restaurant menu, something like that. You have to build projects on each and everything, whatever you are learning, uh, try to make something on that topic. Okay, you learn about a uh, background in CSS, styling, border. So try to use that in some project. Okay, so currently in my best one of front-end developer mentorship, you are going to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript by building um, three fully interactive projects plus 20 plus assignments, like, and uh, 100 plus JavaScript questions. Uh, lots of the students ask me, like, they watch the JavaScript videos, but they are not able to solve the question. They don't have a problem solving ability. The reason behind that, because they learn the superficial of JavaScript. They know what is array, they know what is object, but they don't know how to use it. If I ask you um, some question and you have to solve it in the JavaScript, you are not able to solve it. So that means you don't know JavaScript, you just watch the video. Okay. So this is not the way to learn. You have to learn everything by building. And by using that uh, thing in the real world. So, yeah, this is how you should learn. Yeah, that is something very important that you should always learn by doing. Because I have, I also know a lot of people, they just watch courses. And even I did the same pro mistake. You know, I uh, took a course from Udemy. I watched it. But if you ask me, do I know front-end web development? No, I don't know because I never made a lot of websites. I, I just followed the tutorial. So that is one mistake you should definitely not make. Okay, so this that you've told that, you know, learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then say Git, GitHub, everything is done. But is this enough? Like in today's world where, you know, companies are looking for React, this, that, so much. So is this enough to get a internship or a job in the front end of web development today? Um, To be very honest, yeah, I guess uh, HTML, CSS, Git, and GitHub is not enough, but they can be enough if you do something else. What you can do is after learning the basic of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Git and GitHub, you can start your open source journey. What I did is um, I don't know uh, like um, React before my um, before getting the um, rank one open source contributor in MJ Winter of Code or before getting my first internship. In the first internship, also I worked only on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript itself. I I don't know React. I don't know anything. So once you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Git and GitHub. You are able to start your open source contribution. Check out the open source projects where you can contribute on the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I have created the open source guide where you can learn how to contribute to open source. And um, if you are uh, like, if you want to, if you don't want to contribute on the open source, you want to make your, uh, you want to learn new skills, then you can learn the React, Angular, or Vue.js. And I would definitely suggest the React uh, because it is the most popular among uh, other uh, frameworks. So learn React.js, learn the basics of React.js first, and then um, whatever you are learning, again, build projects, build so many projects, build at least 20, 30 mini projects, then build three, four, five uh, big projects, which you can put on your resume. But before this two, uh, like two, three big projects, uh, build at least 10, 20 uh, small projects. Because if I say like, watch this React video, and then start this uh, big project, let's say YouTube clone, you can't do that. And that will be very overwhelming and you will be like, I don't know React yet, I can't learn. Because building a YouTube clone, just after watching a one hour video, it will be like very tough task. But I, I if I say like, you watch the 30 minute of React course, now build this um, counter. You can easily do that, okay? Uh, not easily, but you can do that. Okay, so once you build the counter app, then you start with to do app, then fuse app, these are the very basic app. You should not add in the resume, but this will help you to learn uh, this React and all thing. And once you able to build such app, now it's time to build um, like good project, good web app project. So yeah, these are the two options. Either go for open source and uh, learn what happened in the open source. Is basically, when you go to open source project, you contribute to their CSS lesson. And they, then you see that they are working on React.js. So then while doing the open source, you can learn so many things, uh, mm -hmm. so many new tech steps. So you can choose either of it, like learn React only or learn any tech stack while working on the open source. Okay, so that is fine. So I have contributed to open source. I have uh, learned React also, but how do I get an internship or how do I get a job? That is the million dollar question. So how to go about it? Okay, so so that there can be another two cases. The very first case, let's say you um, participate in an open source contribution. In that case, what happened is uh, there are lots of founders, co-founders, lots of companies 
who have who made their entire code base open source okay so if you goes to like y combinator this is one of the best websites to find remote job y combinator is a platform which back the startup which invest uh, which teach them a uh, startup how to like how to found a startup basically okay so you can go to that website you can find uh, the startup and you, if you just check out all mostly uh, i would say 90% of the startup have their open source uh, they make their uh, uh, software open source so what you can do you can directly go to their code base you can start contributing then and once you feel like you have done enough open source contribution let's say 10 20 um, 10 good pr okay then you can um, in most of the cases when you do a 10 quality pr they directly reach out to you like hey man are you are doing awesome work um toward our community and you do uh, very well work uh, toward our open source project um and i want to talk to you like why are working and something like that they will reach out to you if they don't reach out to you you can directly reach out to the founder and co-founder by mailing them hey i i check your project and your project was very awesome i have contributed to that project also and like i'm looking for a uh, front end developer role uh, in your company if, if you have any role so do let me know something like this aapne proof of work ki bhej diya like you have the skill you have shown them ki if i am going to join your company i can provide values to them you can already uh, show them by your proof of work second thing is this uh, you are not working in the open source because um you wants to work on your personal project then what are the cases directly so okay you whatever you are building focus on the linkedin and the twitter okay so most of the cases what happen when you are building some uh, project uh, lots of people will appreciate you and some of the founders the recruiters employees uh, will see your project on linkedin and twitter and if they need any uh, if they are uh, in their company there uh, has any vacancy they can just uh, connect with you ask you for an interview this is what happening currently in my mentorship i uh, ask everyone to share your uh, projects on um, linkedin and twitter and they are getting um, interviews just because of they share the project um, someone like their project and they ask if you are open for the interview and if they say yes they will get the interview calls so this is a one of the best way other way you can ask you can connect with the founder and co-founder on linkedin and ask, ask them for referral yeah so this is the best way i i highly like i not suggest to fill the form out on the career website and do this thing directly mail to the founder co founder recruiter employee uh, and this is the best way to get an internship or job in a startup mostly but for the mnc you have to fill the form and do this uh is that why i suggest it start up so as you mentioned i think yes that this is a very great way if you can directly reach out to the founders and some founders are very active these days on linkedin and twitter etc so hmm. even i got reached out by one founder and uh, so that is i think a great way so definitely apart from that okay so now i have got the interview okay but how to clear that interview so i have just built some project so how do i clear an interview front end interview okay so for that basically in my mentorship what i suggest is uh, build project that will help you to get a practical knowledge but also make sure you know that theoretical knowledge of this uh, like fundamental knowledge of front end development okay so how to clear interview uh, i have already created a guide on my uh, youtube channel uh, what types of question you can get in the interview there uh, basically there are um, first of all javascript round where they can ask you the question output based question contextual question on hosting and closer asynchronous programming promises or think of it they can send you some um, code snippet and ask you what can be the solution of this and why so okay and you have to explain uh, what will be the output and why and then we can have a machine coding round and in the machine coding round they can they will give you some code some like some boilerplate and they will ask you to build a feature or create a simple ui so yeah this is the like first round is javascript second is machine coding and third round will be mostly a co-founder like co-founder round where what happen is uh, they will do a cultural fit they will ask uh, what types of projects you have built what are the challenges you faced uh, face it like it it will be combination of manager uh, cultural fit hr everything round okay so these are the main three round that you are going to face in the interview and for clearing this interview 
make sure you have a strong uh, theoretical contact you have a good um, practical knowledge as well got it so basically you have these rounds and uh, apart from that do check out vishal's channel because he has shared so many videos on front end development so this is just a short video but for any detailed that video like you know how to make your resume how to clear the interviews how to start front end development the whole road map do check out his channel so thank you vishal thank you so much for making this video and i'm sure it will help a lot of students this is it for this video and if you like this video do consider subscribing to my channel because i have a lot of interesting videos planned up and trust me all of these videos will be very useful to you and do comment and tell me whether you like this video if you have any other questions don't forget to contact vishal or me on twitter or linkedin so till then bye meet you in another video